What ho, chaps, how the devil? You know this is gonna be a side-splitting video because it starts with The Guardian. Perhaps the worst thing ever committed to print since Fred West's diary turned up. Right, that's The Guardian. If Moira Hindley and Peter Sutcliffe got Gary Glitter to ghostwrite their memoirs, I would be less offended reading that than I typically get flicking through The Guardian. It contains more works of fiction than the Book of Mormon. It is just laughable all the way through. So let's go through this cracker of a story and then I'll get through to the meat of this video, which is just how despicable and hypocritical and dishonest and delusional the European Union are, and of course my favourite, Ursula, who anyone who's been paying attention knows I am not a fan of at all. She is a typical, a stereotypical, authoritarian, top-down, do-as-I-say, not-as-I-do, tin-pot dictator. At least the bloke with one testicle and a toothbrush moustache was a little bit more honest about things. So the headline says, Head of AstraZeneca rejects calls for UK vaccine to be diverted to the EU. Chief Executive of Pharmaceutical Giant says the firm will honour the UK's earlier contract despite EU anger over shortfall. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Because the Chief Executive of the firm obviously has something like a moral compass and is well aware that when you sign a contract in good faith, you expect it to be completed regardless of the mewling deranged ramblings of a tyrannical German with a Napoleon complex. Amid a growing row, this is following a breakdown in supply, Pascal Swiro, the French head of the pharmaceutical giant, said the UK was benefiting from being early to sign a contract. Oh really? What, so we didn't just, we didn't send Blackbeard the pirate over there to waylay the French and make off with it in the middle of the night? It wasn't some sort of gunboat diplomacy, yeah? We didn't send a load of commandos over to get Macron in a headlock and demand their quarter of vaccines. You mean we signed a contract for 100 million doses in good faith and gave them a shit ton of money? That's not what Ursula told me. Let's continue. There is growing anger in Brussels and EU capitals at AstraZeneca's announcement on Friday of a shortfall of more than 60% on the intended schedule of deliveries. While the UK has administered vaccine first doses to about 10% of adults and plans to vaccinate the most vulnerable 15 million by mid-February, the EU has reached 2%. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Weird that, isn't it? Weird how Arden died in the world, Nigel Farage with hemorrhoids, Brexiteers like me have been pointing out the bloody obvious for the last four years, saying that one of the big reasons to get out of the EU is not just the top-down, authoritarian, dishonest, hypocritical bureaucrats that run the thing, but because a small, nimble country can organise things better than a titanic, overpaid, corrupt block of morons. We've already got 650 idiots running the bloody country. I don't want to have to add a few more hundred to the list. Thank you very much. Politicians have shit them. We've got enough, thanks. The UK is more nimble on its feet by itself. The smaller something is, the easier it is to run. Any military man will tell you the same. I deployed on a company level exercise, it was perfect, everything went smoothly, ran like greased weasel shit the entire time. Deploy on some sort of multinational one like I did in Cadiz in Spain with the Americans and the French and the Spanish and the Belgians and the Dutch and it quickly turned into what can only be described as a monumental clusterfuck of the highest calibre. Everybody spoke a different language. The Spanish spent all day smoking. The Dutch, good guys the Dutch, I like them a lot. But they had their shirts off playing volleyball in the middle of a tactical exercise. It was like watching Top Gun, except instead of a little fucking midget like Tom Cruise, everybody playing was seven foot five. It was a clusterfuck. Everything goes completely tits up when you have too many chefs spoiling the broth. That's what the European Union is. It's a nightmare, even on a basic level, without having to understand all of the titanic bureaucracy that they like because it confuses people. On a common sense level, you know, small and nimble beats 450 pound German with a penchant for marzipan and shies upon. We're better off on our own. Maybe that's why we've got 10% of our adults vaccinated and they've got 2%, right? 
I'll leave it there. Suero said Downing Street would have first claim on the doses manufactured in the UK and the EU would have to wait. The UK agreement was reached in June, three months before the European one. Oh really? Three whole months before the European Union one. Weird that, isn't it? If I went in for an operation and a bloke behind me said, oh yeah, but I should go first. And I was to say, oh yeah, why? And he said, well, because I've been on the waiting list three months less than you. I'd tell him to put my testicles in his mouth and hum the national anthem. We were first. Three months is not a short period of time, right? Not a short period of time. If you were desperate for a shit and you were banging on the door in McDonald's, excuse me, mate, are you going to be long? I need a shite. Uh, I'll be three months, mate. Would you stand in line? I don't think so. The European Commission did not deny claims on Tuesday that during heated talks they'd asked the Anglo-Swedish company to redirect doses made in the UK to make up for problems at a Belgian plant. Oh really? What? Germans trying to push in? No. Germans trying to push in? I'm not having that. Not after I went to Hamburg, patiently waited in line for the bus, and then when it arrived and opened its doors, two burly German men shouted Ich bin liegen Stompenhausen and pushed straight to the front, elbowing elderly women in the face. No, Germans don't push in for things. I'm not having it. Have you ever tried to get a sunbed in Spain? A German would push his grandmother down the death slide if it would get him close to the front of the queue. It's just what they do. Queuing? Nicked gut, mein Freund. The EU and others helped with money to build research capacities and production facilities. This is where it gets really good. This is where Ursula massively takes the piss, right? In a speech to the World Economic Forum on Tuesday, the President of the European Commission, Ursula, made clear her anger at AstraZeneca's approach, warning the EU means business. So the tin pot dictator is basically grandstanding and lying and being hypocritical, right? When she's doing this, she knows that we signed an agreement three months earlier than them. She knows it. And now she's saying she's angry at AstraZeneca. AstraZeneca didn't do anything. Ursula, you're a liar. You're incompetent. Your lumbering, meandering, shit for brains commission is about as much use as a nun's tits. There is no point in trying to pretend when we all know the facts. The EU and others had with money to build research capacities and production facilities, she said. Europe invested billions to help develop the vaccines to create a global common good. And now the companies must deliver. They must honour their obligations. Well, let me tell you some facts here, chaps. From The Spectator. As for the claim that the EU has invested billions to help develop the world's first COVID-19 vaccines, she may again be inflating the EU's role. That's The Spectator being diplomatic. She is being a lying, queue-jumping fucking kraut. The EU is hardly unique in pumping funds into vaccines, nor were its actions as altruistic as von der Leyen wants to suggest. Like many developed countries, the EU made advanced purchase orders in order for a set number of doses should the vaccine prove successful. This helped the likes of Oxford, AstraZeneca and Pfizer bring their vaccines to market. The EU admits this itself isn't in a November press release where it explains that the funding given to pharmaceuticals would be considered as a down payment on the vaccines that will actually be purchased by member states. There is also the EU's 500 million euro, that's only 440 million quid, pledge to COVAX, the global initiative in charge of securing collective vaccine samples for lower income countries who may not be able to produce their own. To put this donation into context, Britain, a nation with a population just over a tenth of the size of the EU, has pledged 548 million pounds from its aid budget, right? Black and white folks, the entire EU gave £440 million to secure collective vaccine supplies. The UK, the shitty little UK, the nah, what is me, how will we survive without the European Union? The shitty little UK pledged £548 million. Yeah, just in case Diane Abacus is listening, that is a cool one hundred and eight million pounds more money from Britain alone than the whole of the EU. So, Ursula, you are talking nonsense. Europe invested, but Britain alone invested more. So wind your neck in. And how do they respond to this? The German government has raised the spectre of a block on the movement of doses outside the EU. <laughs> Yep, so they didn't sign the contract. 
They didn't join the queue. They paid less money than we did. They're three months behind us, and now they're threatening to use gunboat diplomacy. They will forcibly stop doses from moving outside the EU. Cheers easy. You have so much in common with a certain one bollock tyrant, Ursula. You really do. Regarding that, it says the legislation von der Leyen announced on Tuesday is at best short-termist and at worst malicious. Such a knee-jerk attempt to control vaccine exports, with deals for which were agreed months ago, show just how out of touch the EU has become. Having been painfully slow out of the blocks in its vaccine negotiations, insisting that all countries in the bloc negotiate collectively, it now wants to lay the, feet, to lay the blame at everyone's feet but its own. Boom! This piece by Joanna Rossiter ends with von der Leyen can pursue her tin pot policy, but EU citizens will still be without their vaccines and Europe's diplomatic standing will be dealt a fatal blow. So that's the facts, ladies and gentlemen. That's the facts. The EU pledged less money to COVAX than we did. The EU was painfully, embarrassingly Stephen Hawking with a bad stitch and a hangover. Slow. And now the EU seeks to obstruct movement of the vaccine out of Europe. Again, Napoleon complex. Fucking Napoleon complex. Let me just finish by saying this, right? If you still haven't approved a vaccine that we approved in December, that's your fault. That's your fault. You snooze, you lose. Don't start sabre-rattling now. Don't start. It's staggeringly hypocritical. Suck it up, face the mirror, and accept the fact you fucked it all up. Right? Simple. Secondly, I will be proved right. We will be proved right. Farage and Mogg and the like will be looked upon as fucking visionary prophets in a few years' time. The EU is circling the drain. It's just too big of a drain and too fat, too tangled up in legalese for most people to understand it. But it is done. They are storing up massive political and economic problems for the future. Shilling hard for Chinese money and stomping on the rights of the citizenry. The British government is as well. Don't make me defend the albino jellyfish or Captain Hindsight or anybody else. But the EU is done. It is done. And this fucking COVID crisis just proved what all of us already know. At the next major economic collapse, and it's coming, oh boy is it coming, we have been spending like drunk sailors on shore leave in Vegas it's coming, and at the next economic collapse, they will pull themselves apart like wild dogs. I'm telling you. Thirdly, you would have thought our friends on the continent would have learned their lesson in the 20th century. But apparently not. Apparently not. We're going to have to go through something like that all over again, aren't we? The EU are shameless. They always talk about transparency and honesty and openness. It's lies. They want a mechanism by which they can legally hoard all the supplies that are meant for other countries who got their act together, signed the contracts and paid the fucking fees before they did. Learn to queue, Fritz. The worst thing about them is this legalese, the EU. They think you can come up with any authoritarian, overbearing legislation on a whim and then as long as they sign it into law, follow their own little procedures that they write and call it a law, nothing is being done. Nothing, right? That's how they work. If, if Ursula just wants to declare, right, I'm having your fucking house and your dad's house. Oh, well, we'll just, um, we'll just write a law about that saying Ursula can have your house and your dad's house and then they'll do it. And her and Giva Hofstadt and Michelle Barney and all the rest of them will go, well, what, what are you complaining for? We followed the law. We followed the law. You write the law. Just because it's a law doesn't mean that that is acceptable behavior. You write the laws. This is why John Locke is so revered. And it's also why our current glut of Tories and especially Labour and the SNP and everybody else are so clueless. Simply writing laws every bastard minute of the day doesn't make those laws just or tolerable. We are supposed to be ruled by consent and the European Union, like I've said many times, is a top-down, overbearing autocracy. They think they can just sign whatever they want into law and therefore Wash their hands of it. Anything they do, any actions they take are morally justified, and they are not. You lost. You didn't queue. You didn't pay as much as we did. You were three months late. We... You can write whatever laws you like. Anyone reading those facts, I don't care whether they're German, Spanish, or from Mars, they know that Ursula and her chums are massively taking the piss. 
they, they still think like the continental authoritarians of centuries past. You know, the ones that they keep spawning when we haven't had a dictatorship for hundreds of years. Tito, Franco, Stalin, Mussolini, Hitler. They don't get it. That is exactly how authoritarians think. I write the law. I make the law. Therefore, I am the law. Judge dread with tits. Be honest. Face the mirror. Admit you were outmaneuvered because your clumsy authoritarian bureaucracy is useless. It's circling the drain. It is done. Don't think you can change a few laws and the people of Europe are going to go, oh yeah, well, we're, we're totally being moral and reasonable. I guarantee there's French people reading the papers today, reading about this debacle and going, sacre bleu, the Germans are cunts, no? It's shocking. Ursula, you lost. Suck it up. Sort your life out and build back better.